Hi, everybody. I wanted to introduce you to a couple other uh, resources rather than just EBSCOhost to find journal articles and, and books and book chapters. So I'm going to share my screen. And the first one that I'd like to introduce you to is something called Google Scholar. Uh, Google Scholar allows you to identify articles that are linked to a person and um, topics. So I'm just going to put my name in and see if any of my articles come up. So uh, there it is. So it's interesting that several of my articles do pop up. So you have um, in 2017, I guess, uh, well, technically 2016, I did a study with a couple colleagues to see what factors influence support for various political uh, parties. And um, this was uh, the election of Donald Trump in 2016. And we found that mortality salience increased support for Donald Trump. Other examples of articles are uh, a study that I did on spiritual intelligence and mental health, existential functioning in mental health, uh, trauma systems therapy to work with refugees, um, and so forth. But it's interesting, not all of my articles come up, but some you could find and you'll see a PDF at different places. Uh, I'm gonna talk about research data as well, but what's nice about uh, Google Scholar is that you could also modify the time range, you can modify what you get, and you could see how many times it was cited. So if you wanted to use this article as a framework to find other articles that are related, you could click the citations and sure enough, there are other articles that could be used. So we could use one article to build as a resource for other articles. And so the, this article on mortality salience, right? Uh, and support for Donald Trump as a president in uh, 2017 was published and since then has been cited uh, 21 times. So now we could go to other ones as well and see how they were cited. So if you're interested in spiritual intelligence, you could see that you could find some of these articles that way too, um, which is great. So this is just another resource. So let's say I was interested in sex-based microaggressions, um, which I'm working on a research study with another student on, on microaggressions and the impact of the relationship to the uh, aggressor and how that impacts your experience. So, you know, I could use Google Scholar and sex microaggression scale and then get a bunch of articles. Um, and because of the words I use, uh, you're gonna get a whole host of aggressions related to sex, gender, sexual orientation, uh, and you can find articles this way. What's nice about Google Scholar is that it's free, right? So if for whatever reason you can't log into the library uh, and access resources, you can find other resources this way. So I'm gonna go back to the home page, and I just want you to know uh, that the web page is https colon forward slash forward slash scholar.google.com. I wanna introduce you to a second resource, which is called ResearchGate. Now, uh, ResearchGate is uh, self-populated. So it's uh, the, the individuals who do the research upload their own stuff. So you might be able to gain access to information that's not yet public. So if I go to uh, my profile, right, on ResearchGate, um, I could do click research and you could see all the different research studies that I've done, right? Whether they be research articles, whether they be um, 
uh, personal statements, statements against uh, uh, racial injustice, whether it be uh, book chapters, anything that's related to me is here. Now, I, I, I do want to caution you when using ResearchGate, because since it's uploaded by the person themselves, it is possible that you might get what's called gray material. Gray material is uh, a source of research that may not be peer reviewed, uh, or it might be weaker, or it might not be scholarly in nature. So you want to be mindful of that. And I'll give you an example of my own work. Um, I did work with New York State Psychological Association to introduce a series of resolutions on diversity. And um, this is in 2018, where we helped get the council to vote on 17 different groups. Now, they, these are resolutions on diversity. And uh, they're not published in an article, but if you click view full text, you'll see that all the people were involved, the various diversity statements in general, the age-related diversity statements, disability-related, uh, religion and diversity statements, race and ethnicity, and all of this. But this was never published in a journal. So it's very, very important to understand that even though this models scientific writing, this would not be considered a scholarly source, even though there's tremendous scholarship in this, right? You see the articles being cited through and through, but that doesn't matter uh, because it wasn't published in a book uh, or a journal article. But I, I do think that uh, ResearchGate is another source to find articles just in case the library doesn't have the article. You can request an article. For example, let me see, um, I might have requested, yeah, I requested uh, an article and people requested from me. So let me see in my notifications. Uh, here's good. So this is on group therapy and whether or not uh, multiple group leaders um, is better than having a single group therapist as a leader. So I requested from one of the authors a copy of their journal article because I couldn't gain access to it from the library and they were nice enough to share their full text. So I download it now and I'm able to uh, access it. So now I'm going to share with you what they gave me. So um, here it's a referee journal, uh, uh, a journal through the American Psychological Association. And they shared with me their article, which was very, very kind. So uh, when we think about it, what did I want to give you with this lecture is that in addition to EBSCOhost, in addition to the database searches that you have um, to your disposal at at the library, uh, there are other resources. And I have to tell you that I did not go into an all-inclusive list. I just gave you an example of two, Google Scholar and ResearchGate, which are additional resources for you. There are hundreds of resources available, uh, but this hopefully gives you a flavor of what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna stop this video here and uh, we'll go from there.